So I'm just putting shit on the bar because I have not planned on making a video because I am in a mood and have so much fucking work to do and I noticed the date and that's why the camera's on right now because I'm like up until I sat down I have been in just unbelievable tears, yeah, and in a state that I can only really call super fucking confusing because I went to get my medication, so today started off like no other, I missed multiple alarms and slept through the others. I didn't actually wake up until like 9.28 and I remember thinking when I looked at the clock, well, wow, it's a fucking good thing that the 9 o'clock appointment I had wanted to put the original thing with the crosses that it been was like someone beaten to it, yeah, because I mean, I was fucking you know, like, I feel like I might quietly be just going mad. Even more than I'm with it. I mean, it's a fuck load. I don't really feel like anyone could blame me. <laughs> but this is how my day has gone. Yeah? So, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to think. I'm not going to think. I need a. Uh, what did I do? I don't know what I did. I think I just. Wait, wait, maybe? Wait, it's not. At 08 in the afternoon on the 27th of November 2022, so it's 22, 11, 222, yeah? The date means something to me, yeah? Once I say it out loud, it's just going to be. Oh my god. How the tables have turned. It only took six fucking years, but I can just see everything that's happened in a different way. Well, back to today. Right, so, my appointment was for 10.30. Yeah, let's check that out. I had a uh, moped more weed than I think I realised. So I did, had an appointment at 10.30, it was uni. Um, and the way that actually helped me, well not the weird way, she helped me like she always does. Um, anyway, then I had to fill my pill up because I, I, I'm not a good adult when it comes to a whole lot of fucking really important stuff, yeah? And it's not because I don't want to be, or because I'm lazy, or stupid, or I don't even know what the fuck else. Because I tell you what, I don't even need anyone else to say it to me. And Rory, the only reason you're still even able to see my shit is because it's actually harder to block someone on a public website than I knew. So, I'm just going to say this. If you keep posting shit, I'm just going to keep deleting it. So, stop wasting your time. And mine. Yeah. Everyone else, just don't do what he did. All you gotta do is watch the movies. And you'll be fine. And basically, summing that up is don't come at me like a crazy stalker or send me overwhelming information and in emails, constant con comments, constant every single thing. And you know what? You're actually abusing me on my website now. Like, like literally attacking me about still watching me. Like, who's the fucking dumb cunt, honestly? Yeah? So, I did clarify I'm in a mood, right? So, I think it was like, I think, 
And this is where the really fucking confusing part comes in. And it's not like I haven't been talking about it for a while, but it's like seeing the options. I didn't feel bad about getting up at 9.28. I was grateful that I didn't have a fucking meeting at night. That was actually how I originally felt. And that is, like, I'm, I don't feel mad right now. I actually feel amused. Hence the reason, like, I keep saying the day and the time is for a living. So numbers are actually something that means something to me. I talk about the fact that I'm spiritual all the time. There are plenty of things I believe in that I'm just not ready to try and share yet because <laughs> I have very much become aware all by myself that apparently I don't communicate quite as well as I thought I did or would like to. Um, though I am absolutely at the point where it's like if someone doesn't let me join something or do something or whatever the fuck it is simply because I talk to my camera to stop me going from uh, absolutely fucking bonkers, do you know, I really think that's on something that's not on me. I'm just me. I'm not doing anything except trying to make sense of my own life. Which, once you peel away the superficial bullshit, becomes quite complicated when you're really pulling apart every single thing you believe in and why you believe in it and how you got to that point. And if it actually matches your values or, like, yeah. So... Anyway, I have had an interesting day. The uni meeting went well. I've gotten some good tips. Um, I, I have to say, this woman is the person I want to speak to every time I have to speak to a staff member at my university. Like, she's the one that I feel is, well, she's definitely get our own bullet talking to people, I put it that way. And, um, then I had to do the pillbox. Now the pillbox is slowly but surely almost becoming like this. Like I, every time I have to do it, I fucking basically sing gray movies and say, "How is it this fucking day again?" I swear, I feel like it was yesterday. I fucking filled that damn pillbox, right? And I guess the more consciously aware of everything that's going around, it's more like, oh my fucking god, do you know I'm only 36, I'm 36 and, let's check, you know, since I'm talking to you on my computer, let's go to YouTube on my phone, and be like, today is day 328, 328 days that I've been making videos. Um, and yeah, I didn't, I missed one by accident, by sleeping, but I'm not going to like say that every single day, yeah, moving forward as far as I'm concerned, I'm a daily vlogger, um, but yeah, like my viewings have dropped a lot, true, 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 and I don't blame anyone for that because uni is sucking the life out of me, um, but, anyway, I knew that I needed medication, so, again, things that I do in my life that I absolutely can't be the only one that does, is my very at least, um, but basically it's like fucking boxing, but I went out today with this, I was just like, you know what, this is exactly how it's been. Right now. But, um, so, <laughs> I don't really feel anything. I feel stoned, actually, is what I feel, which is better than what I felt fucking before. So, I'm pretty sure I ran out of, like, some pretty important, my, like, the last time I did my pillbox, I knew I needed to get specific medication because I'm almost certain now that I'm thinking back about it, that I knew that the end of, like, the, like today, today, for, like, today it was empty, so yesterday and maybe the last couple of days, it might not have been quite correctly correct, which, now that I'm saying that out loud, would 
probably actually make my <laughs> moods uh, make much more sense. So um, I knew I needed it, but today was like empty, empty. So I also knew I had, like I said, got up an hour beforehand. Needs bread, I think, whatever it was, meeting, pill box, trying to sort through everything that I need, yeah? And I had like a list full of e scripts that I needed to be dispensed, right? Now, I've since changed my pharmacy. <laughs> this is funny. So, I'm talking to Grant on video right at this point, filling my pill box because I'm like, I've got between now and now when um, my next appointment online was, which was, you know, the storytelling stuff. And he calls me on video and we're chatting <laughs> while I'm filling my pill box. And then my old pharmacy calls me. And it's a lovely lady who I, I do like. Dude, seriously. I don't know if you guys can hear him doing that, but fuck it. <laughs> Say hello, Bill. So, um, we're talking, and then she rings, and I was like, all right, I'm going to answer it. And she's like, oh, I haven't seen you in a while. Like, is everything okay? Um, I was like, yeah, I've changed promises. And she's like, but we've got scripts for you, you know, do you want us to repeat them? Um, like, feel them and I'm like you really don't I was like I picked them up ages ago and um it was it was interesting nonetheless I thought um but yeah like I was very much out of medication that I can't just like let's face it if you're prescribed medication and it's like I am not an expert, don't quote me, done any of that stuff, but I think it goes without saying, like if you're prescribed medication, you take it the way your doctor says. Um, like I don't actually over medicate, <laughs> it might seem like it sometimes, uh, but I definitely take my medication correctly. So um, I knew I needed to fill it up. I am this person though, however, really just doesn't like leaving my house for that sort of shit and grocery shopping like I am as I've said in a written blog at some point last night working my way through what I've got to see what I can match with each other the only thing I needed was toilet paper and the pharmacy sold that so that was good um and boss is okay for, for now so anyway I was, yeah, did the pill box to the best that I could with the missing pills, um, which I took obviously a photo of and had all the scripts. So I did the work meeting. That went well. I actually told them how, like, I've seriously been feeling like I'm not pulling my weight and the fact that I've contemplated was, like, quitting a number of times because I, I just, it's like, it's like everything at the moment in my life, I guess. I'm second guessing shit. It's, it's very quite fucking fucking with me because my life is great. Like everything is going exactly like oh, it doesn't even make any fucking sense, yeah. Which is why hmm, I'm fully aware this I'm not like the story is going all over the place. It's going to be interesting for me to watch it back too. But yeah, so like it was a it was a full day, and it's now literally 4:20, and <laughs> I've been talking to you all for 14 minutes and fucking like 28 seconds. I guess because I needed to shake off whatever it was I was feeling because. <laughs> So, um, I've gone back to smoking fucking cigarettes, yes. Now, I don't smoke more than, say, three or four throughout the day. And they're rollies. Um, but I'm definitely, like, having a cigarette at least 
you know, one in the morning, one maybe or two throughout the afternoon. By the evening, like, it depends on where I'm at because I, well, I obviously smoke joints, yeah, and I much prefer joints than cigarettes, but I have school work to do and it's already freaking me the fuck out. Um, which is, I think, again, what led to why I picked up this camera. Well, the two reasons. Um, I'm chuckling in my head because my stories in my head make far more sense than the stories that I actually say out loud. Because I can't quite get them to compute, yeah? But anyway, I, um, like, I was in a good mood by the time I had the work meeting. Um, it actually went really well. Everything's fine. Um, they're really happy with me. And yeah, definitely seen me as a, you know, a really important part of the team. Um, and then it was like, okay, um, I went to the chemist. Now, by this point, I was like, I'd been trying to convince myself that I would go to the chemist and then go to the shop and get like bread and like basically bread. And then I was like, well, and I obviously needed toilet paper. And I knew I could get toilet paper at the chemist. And I was like, I'm just so fucking overwhelmed with uni because it's it's the needing to watch what I'm meant to be doing while doing it at the same time on a screen that's like this fucking big. So does turn out, according to the lady I spoke to this morning, that you can actually, like, connect separate screens to a laptop, there's just a certain thing or a certain device you need to use to do it. Like, if I could watch my seminar on one while following along on the other, I do think that would make my life a lot easier. Um... Thankfully, the printer's exam is literally like, well, I think that's the ignore stone lip here. So I need to catch up on seminars. I need to read through my notes. There are things I need to do, and basically what I need to do is take Liv off and put her aside and spend two or three days fully immersed in this stuff, yeah? Because I know I can do it. It's just... I have no energy in that emotional cup we talk about, or if you want to go with the spoony analogy, I got no spoons left, right? So when I went to pick up the meat, yeah, well, well, let's come back. I was my camera wouldn't turn on for the meeting anyway, for whatever reason it wouldn't work. And I'd said earlier in an email, look, I'm having a bad day already. I'm not going to turn the camera on, and then. The universe just literally didn't let me turn the camera on. So I was like, okay, I really hope this is uh, this thing. Like, it's not an overall thing. Um, and I asked Victor if he had a few minutes to spare so that I could call him via video to see if it worked. And thankfully, thankfully it did. Um, so the entire time I'm, I'm doing the work meeting, though, I was rolling cigarettes, yeah? Because I... Like my hands are the first to go, we know this, rolling cigarettes, I have a machine, I do it, whatever, but it's still, yeah, and I put red, red lines on the cigarettes and green lines on the joints, and I have a little container that they just fit perfectly into, and so I'd left the green one at home, because I'd only roll one, but I'd rather like five cigarettes, and I figured that would be for today, at least tomorrow morning, and then I'll I obviously had to wait at the pharmacy for a while, and I got what I needed, but I'd totally forgotten that I'd called earlier and been like, please put this, like, extra, it's like, more intense hay fever medication aside, and I knew I was meant to get iron supplements, so two things I missed and realised once home, but after leaving the pharmacy, right, it was almost, it wasn't, it was like, it was only a few minutes, I was like, where are my cigarettes? Now, I didn't actually want one. It was just this instant, where are they? And now that I'm telling the story back, it's much more interesting than when I'm living it. I'll put it that way, yeah? 
Now, at this moment, I'm like, they're in one of the bags. Check when you're at home. Safety first and all that stuff, yeah? Unfortunately, sensible growing up adult live isn't always fully in control. And I was like, fuck it, I'm driving, I'm safe, I can at least feel for it. No, not there. By this point, I was like, okay, I've lost it. And I was like, it's not a big deal. So I'm literally having like this conversation in my head. And I'm just like, it's fine. Or it's only cigarettes. Like, who cares? The other part's like, you're in fucking pain already. You're emotionally tapped out. And you still have to go home and watch a two-hour seminar. And that's last week's one, right? And then practice how to use this fucking software. I still have to watch today's seminar and as I said, do this fucking software, I said I've also got the learning objectives to go, the re recorded videos and the reading and everything else and my brain is just like, like this is now obviously overwhelmed and I can see I've got to break it down but the first breakdown is a two fucking hour seminar. That I don't know how to follow along because I can't fucking make them viewable in a way that I can clearly see both at once. Oh, I can't do it. I admit it. Nothing I can fucking do about it. Buy another screen. I'm doing what I can. Like, I will figure this shit out, but the rate I'm going at 428 might not be today. I'm just so... So I got home and I parked and I opened the door and I literally went through my car, went through everything, pulled the seats back and forth, checked under, checked check between, blah, 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 um, nothing. And again, by this point, I'm now, I'm angry and I'm upset. Both are obviously directed at myself yeah so by this point i'm angry i'm upset and then the rational side is saying it's okay like it's okay it it's cigarettes yeah you have more you can literally roll more yeah nice logical side right the unfortunate sad, lonely, they're boom, breaking into a million pieces, just can't deal with anything else at all, kicked in and was like, you fucking dumb loser, like you are the biggest fucking loser, honest to God, like why, why do you fucking even bother, and at this point I'm now obviously completely in tears. And I'm inside at my kitchen table and I've tipped every single thing out. And again, I can hear the voice and it's saying, roll another one if you want one. You don't even want a cigarette. You want a joint and you lift the joint here. You never leave the joints here. You always just pack them together. And I'm clearly able to logically register with this. What I'm unable to do though is make the other one calm down it's and we're not talking about just a little tear i lost a couple of fucking cigarettes and i cried my fucking eyes out because in that moment those cigarettes became every other single thing i've ever done in my life that makes me someone who is so fucking a loser in how I'm telling myself, that as Graham says, I literally scored a 78 on an extroversion personality profile, and yet it is like most people don't even want to try to get to know me in, in real life because I'm just too much or too emotional or too whatever the fuck I am. But Again, it's like I wouldn't react like that around the next person because I know how utterly fucking 
ridiculous it is. But it wasn't ridiculous enough that I didn't call the pharmacy and be like, hey, I've lost this little thing. If you happen to find it, put it aside. And like, in all fairness, I had forgotten the iron supplements and the hay fever stuff. But it definitely wasn't the actual reason for the call. Now, if you've made it along so far with me at, you know, 50, 25 minutes and 25 seconds, could be you for starters. And I appreciate the support, or at least the interest. Um, but I absolutely had to like take a volume, smoke the joint that I rolled. No, there is like about this much of it left because I got to that point. And I was like, I really do have schoolwork to do. Like, probably shouldn't actually do that. Um, and yet. Yeah, like I've said, like, I went to read next to the boss and then I thought, no, I'll sit down because I've just heated my coffee and I looked at the day. And I can't help but be unused, I think more than anything, because I used to say it to him all the time take your head out from the fucking sand and stop living in denial. I said it all the time. And yet, I was doing the exactly the same thing. Because six years ago, or five, uh, seven probably makes more sense, seven or eight years ago, I believed that Mr. X and I would be married on this date because of the numbers. So, you know, life is funny. Um, I don't even believe in marriage anymore, but that's a whole other thing. I am definitely calmer. I'm just like, I know what I need to do to um, succeed and I just feel like something snapped inside of me because because I just don't remember ever feeling this bad with uni like I've been at uni a long fucking time like I literally have three units left like why do I feel this fucking hopeless and useless and now I think the only answer I'm going to keep coming up with is I need to I don't know see I tell myself I need to go and study somewhere but if I don't have someone to study with as in even if we're studying alongside each other you do your thing I do my thing if I don't know the person if it's not an actual like friendship, connection sort of thing. But going to the library doesn't make me any fucking difference. It just means I've got to pay for fucking coffee. And at the rate I drink it, I'd rather just be at home. So, I don't know. Anyway, I feel better for talking shit out. I guess that's something. Um, beating myself the hell up and telling myself I'm a loser doesn't do anything good at all. I don't recommend it. That's for sure, but for those of you out there who have voices in their head that are little cunts like mine, I feel you, and I promise you are not alone. Please, everybody, send me well wishes because I have to understand statistics because I need to finish my degree. Send a light and love to you all. Thanks for always coming along with me. Talk to you tomorrow.